Yes, thank you very much. I, I, uh, oh, no. Man, I wasn't prepared for this. I, I'll do a couple more here. Uh, um, uh, let's see. What do we? Uh, let's see. We haven't done. Uh, uh, let's see. Uh, da, 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 da. You think they're ready for that? Later. Yeah, we're both ready. Uh, yeah, we're ready. We're ready for whatever. All right, this is a big, long, big, long one. So this is the one that perhaps I'm most famous or most infamous for. This is the one that's got me more gigs and got me fired from more festivals. So anyway. <laughs> I've been out on the road now, August of 1979. Yeah. As I always say, you may not like my piano playing or what passes for my singing. The lyrical content. But even if you don't like the rest of the whole show, what about a big hand for these? Kiss my ass, go to hell, guaranteed not to get you laid in the hell for a When you wear a book like this, you do tend to meet a lot of girls. Unfortunately, when you sing songs about grandmothers who give finger to TV wrestlers <laughs> and midget wrestlers and all the other things that occupy my universe, that's about all you do is meet girls. Except every now and then things will work out. And friends, I'll find myself in a cheap motel by the side of a highway in an establishment engaged in the carnal lust of the flesh and a motel named after the interstate or a deceased sea captain. <laughs> And when things get good and I'm feeling the presence of the powers, it takes me back to my fourth wife. My fourth wife was a six foot five inch, heavily pierced, ex-professional coleslaw wrestler. With, did I say with multiple body piercings by the name of Miss Roberta? Forget the day I saw her stroll through that laundromat and those little high heel go go boots making them walk like an anaconda with a nerve condition. I looked at that woman in her good eye. I said, Baby, I love you. She kind of looked back at me and a little mouthful of snack cake said something like, I, 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 I. I said, baby, you stick with me and I'll be the one that goes out on those little blues cruises and has half up and going, I don't know, it's not traditional blues in my department. The other one's going, well, it's okay to laugh at you. Well, it's better than Chicago. Anyway, I said, you ain't got to do nothing. You lay home all day on the purple knock high no dawn thing to march when you buy the microwave couch. With a box two sitting in that page of south of the border ashtray. I come over from a gig like this all tired and wore out and purple stuff pouring out of my hair and God knows where else. How you doing? She would look up at me. With a good eye. She'd say, hey, ladies out there, make me feel bad. It made me feel like one of these rock stars here. Say, hey. Okay, I like the woo part, but do the do the hey first. All right, right okay, wait, oh, wait, wait a minute, oh, okay. Ladies, make me feel like one of these rock stars out here on the count of three. Y'all say, hey, one, two, three. That was pretty enthusiastic. <laughs> Normally when a bunch of women from the South kind of say, hey, that's a good thing. But when your wife's a six foot five inch ex-professional coleslaw wrestler with multiple body piercings, she says, hey, while she's looking at you in that one good eye, you know it means it's time for love. Because love is a beautiful thing, friends. And some of y'all know that when you first meet somebody, you have those flames that burn hot and bright through the night. And every night after night, you go through it like an endangered species. And somewhere along the way, the flames begin to cool a little bit. You get back home and you say, baby doll, we got to do something. We're gonna play some little games. So me and Mr. Roberta would play our little games. The first game we'd play was called Cops. Y'all hit to that game just like that TV show. She would dress up in that little khaki, non-gender specific deputy sheriff outfit. 
I put on nothing but a pair of cutoffs in that jailhouse dude and preached that dude with a JMT across each nipple. I'd stand there with grandpa and say, hey, hey, put in here with that pepper spray. I ain't doing nothing where I'm from. We're straight nose, just another way saying, I love you. She'd be saying, young man, yes, young man, Mr. Wirtz, you're going to have to stop talking. She got me by the hair. She duct taped me, she pulled me inside, and then she duct taped me to my lazy boy with a and chips. Wow. Oh. Y'all digging it so far? Yeah. Oh. Baby. Oh. And then she'd take the TV remote and put it about four inches out of my reach. <laughs> Look at the guys and go, nah, it ain't funny, but that ain't funny. <laughs> she'd say, all right, Mr. Wirtz. <laughs> Mommy, here's you are a naughty boy on that Louis cruise. So just to make sure, Mommy's going to put on some special clothes just for you. <laughs> so she'd reach in the closet and get outfit number one. She'd reach in the closet and get out that Walmart checkout girl's outfit. She'd say, not tonight, you are a naughty boy. She'd reach a little farther in the back and get out the Holland America front desk operator's outfit. I don't know how to say who's your daddy in Indonesia, but goddamn, I try. Hit the beer spitting. <laughs> She'd say, no, no, no. We got one better than that. She'd reach all the way in back and get out the two-week-old, slightly soiled Waffle House waitress. <laughs> Slashed and trashed and mashed and dashed. <laughs> yeah, well, don't give away all the And she made me put it on. <laughs> She'd get like a big old truck driver scratching in her bad part saying, Hey, hey, baby, bring daddy something good to eat. Bring him a little food while you're at it. Oh. Uh, 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 well, I like it. Uh, she said, uh, she, she said, bring me some grits. And I'd say, okay, and I'd bring her big bowl of grits. I'd start to walk away, walk away. She'd stick her finger in the grits and say, get over here. These grits are cold. And she'd take that little wobble house menu and spank me against my butt saying, you're nothing but a little wobble house slut. Sing her song. I'd say, okay, Billy is a wobble house naughty little slut. Twist my little nipples off a naughty little slut. Then things would get kind of kinky. <laughs> she put on that. Glass or bottle? She put on the white go-go boots and put Wilson Pickett's greatest hits on the stereo. Where they got to land of a thousand dances. Jump up on top of the stereo, shot wave and jiggle. I see Spalsy go like that. Purple friend movers go like that. The white go-go boots go like that. I'm looking at her, looking at me, looking at her, looking at me, and I'm thinking to myself, Raymond Billy. Yeah. Oh yeah, buddy, when you got this at home. Who needs acid? <laughs> and then we go back to that heart-shaped, vibrating waterbed, the one underneath the black velvet painting of Elvis, Jesus, John Wayne, and Dale Earnhardt sharing that best of the <laughs> I look at my baby and I say, Roll burner, roll burner, roll burner. Yeah. Baby doll, I love you, but please, can you make the hands off of me? <laughs> oh, okay, you went out. Oh, right, I'm your little. I'm right, your queen angel. I say you're the queen angel. I'm your monkey. I'm your monkey bitch. I'm your monkey bitch. <laughs> Roll yourself around me, baby, and it feels so good. But you just want to let me breathe. <laughs> she drank whiskey like water. Well. Drink gin like a glass of lemonade. You drink whiskey like water. Sometimes.
downtown Chuck Catcher, sit down in front of the chair at 7 Eleven, Chuck and Cherry, not go straight out of the bottle with a bag of barbecue pots, cork pork rice to get it off of Beth Lemonade. I regret that they were at my steaming legs and ran your old mother be pissed buttocks. Might have been about the no biggest buttocks mistake I've ever made. Oh my god, she's got the fur gloves, the large jar of cheese whiz, the handcuffs, and I'm a dead man. <laughs> Cheese wins. You got to try that. Already <laughs> Let us know how that works with the next Shaker to the honeydew melon of destiny. Playing the drum break to end a god at the beta in those Kmart's clearance rack. Hot piss with a smiley face on the left cheek, the smiley face on the right cheek. I don't mind the smiley face on the left cheek, I don't mind the smiley face on the right cheek. When you get off your medications and you run down the street and it looks like they're kind of fighting and they're winking at one another, don't you know I got a little bit nitty nitty nervous legs? Oh, please. So much. Thank you. Yes, I said, come on over, honey. Well, you can't go wrong. Honey, baby. Oh, not a second going on. Well, come on over, honey. We got chicken in the mountain. Who's bound to run a bond, my bond? Hey, baby. I really got the bull by the horn. Honey, baby. Oh, not a second going on. All right, boys, boys. Well, shake.
I've been down part of the road and been down a good part of it, and I've learned over the years that there are going to be some bumps and going to be some curves. But as you go down the road of life, remember a few things that I used to say many, many years ago, somewhat probably in jest, and a lot of them have somewhat manifested themselves over the years. Primarily among these, number one, sacred cows make real tasty burgers. You just need to know what temperature to flip them over at. <laughs> Number two, one man sushi is always going to be the next fella's bait. <laughs> Number three, two wrongs ain't never made nothing right except maybe in Fayetteville, North Carolina on Saturday night. <laughs> Number four, um, when in doubt, remember the words of my granddaddy Wirtz, who used to say, Billy, just remember there ain't but three kinds of people in this world, those who can count and those who can't. <laughs> Wasn't Grandma's fault, huh? <laughs> and also, remember the words of Granddaddy Words who said, Billy, never judge a man till you've had the chance to walk a mile in his shoes. That way, if he is an asshole, you have his shoes and you're a mile away. <laughs> Number eight, never sweat the petty stuff and always pet the sweaty stuff. Number nine, if you can't get rid of those skeletons in your closet, you better teach them how to dance for you. <laughs> Number 10, uh, ladies, remember, we men are just pretty much like kitchen tile lettuce right the first time and you can walk all over us the rest of your life. <laughs> but most important, friends, and I say this, and I do know this one, believe me, backwards and forwards, and that is, friends, always remember as you go through life that love is what carries us through and music is what brings us love. And it is always about love, and, the, and that's what makes it all worthwhile and all go round. But it is better to have loved and lost than to have to live with that fucking psycho for the rest of your life. <laughs> Carolina Fireball, the Asian Miller, let's get that